Hi, everyone. We are going to make a sleeve in Clo 3D today, like this reference picture. It's not going to be tough to make it. We made a tank top in the last video. And I slightly changed the pattern at the front of the top. There is a little more wide arm, and the armhole drops high like this. So, if you missed how to create the crop top pattern, click the link on the top and check it out. If you are ready, let's start. First, we are going to make a rectangle. Before we make the pattern, we need to check the armhole length. My armhole length is 6.968 inches. And go to rectangle and click. If you click on 2D window once, you can see Create Rectangle and insert the same width as the armhole length of 6.968 inches. And height, insert what sleeve length you want to make. I'm going to make 6 inches and press OK. Now we made a rectangle pattern right here. We are going to add a point to the pattern. Before we add it, we need to check the half length of the armhole length. Armhole length 6.968 inches divide 2 is 3.484 inches. And select add point, split line. And select the left line of the rectangle line, right click. And insert on the line 1 to 3.484 inches. And press OK. And make a point right side 3.484 inches as well. And we are going to add one more point on the top for making 90 degrees right here. Click the line. I'm going to add 0 0.8 inches. But you can do 0 0.5 inches or less. Now, we made three points right here. And I'm going to make the line, go to internal line, Click and connect these two points. Click the left point and double-click at the end of the point. And we are going to make one more line here as well. Click the point. We are going to make the line the same length as the armhole length. So we already checked the length of 0 0.8 inches. So 6.968 inches minus 0 0.8 inches is 6.168 inches. Make around 6.168 inches. It's hard to make exactly, but it's okay a little less or over. And then we are going to make one more straight line here. Click the point and make a straight line to the bottom. and we are going to trance this sleeve pattern. Click Trace and select all the lines that you want to trace. Keep press shift plus click. And right click, Trace to Pattern, and place it on 2D window. We don't need this pattern anymore, so you can just delete it. Now, we have a sleeve pattern. And we are going to divide this line into three lines. Click this line, right-click, and click Split. 
and there are options for split lines. There is a uniform split. Make the number of segments to three. And we will make patterns of degrees. Click this point and drag to the above and right click at the same time. Then, moving distance options pop up. I'm going to do 0 0.8 inches. And we'll change these lines' curves. Go to Edit Pattern, click Smooth Curve. Click and make the straight line softly. You can just do half much of each line. And we are going to change the sleeve hem width, like this. You can just click the edge point and click the left arrow on your arrow keys. Now, for making a whole pattern. Click this line, right-click, and unfold. Finally, we made a sleeve pattern. And we are going to place on Avatar this sleeve. Go to Show Arrangement Points. And click Blue Point with the sleeve. And we don't need this point, just delete it. And we are going to sew this sleeve together. But if you have multiple points like this, we need to use free sewing feature. Click free sewing and click the front sleeve. And click the front arm. Click the back sleeve and click the back arm. And simulate. Look great! And for the side of the sleeve, we can do segment sewing. Click segment sewing and click each side. I think my sleeve is a little long, so I'll make the sleeve length a little shorter. And we are going to make a binding effect at the edge. Click the line and right-click, offset as internal line. And I'll make distance 0 0.5 inches and press OK. And right-click, we are going to cut and sew. And for the binding effect, we are going to apply thickness. Click and go to Property Editor. And make particle distance to 5 and addle thickness to 2.5. And simulate Now we made a left sleeve, and we are going to copy and paste to use Control C plus Control V. And we have a right side sleeve here. Select the whole sleeve at once and place it on your avatar. Make sure to place the sleeve with the binding. And use free sewing as well and sew together.
Finally, we made sleeves perfectly. It looks so good. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye.